While thousands of adventure seekers climbed Mount Everest, only 22 people have ever descended to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, home to some of the toughest circumstances and most unique species on the planet. It is now the deepest known point in our planet's waters. This oceanic wonder can be found on the east of Philippines and south of the Mariana Islands, in the western Pacific Ocean. We know very little about this location, and it has piqued the interest of researchers for ages. Don Walsh and Jacques Picard were the first people to reach Challenger Deep in 1960. After 52 years, James Cameron, a Canadian filmmaker, became the first solo diver. Astronaut Catherine D. Sullivan and mountaineer Vanessa O'Brien were the first two women to visit Challenger Deep in 2020. Victor Vescovo has made the most dives, by March 2021 he had made a total of 12 dives. The Mariana Trench is the ocean's Grand Canyon, stretching for more than 15,080 miles and averaging 43 miles in width. It is a place of eternal darkness and severely frigid temperatures, with a pressure of 8 tons per square inch at the very bottom, which is the equivalent of putting 50 jumbo jets on top of a person. We know more about the surfaces of the Moon and Mars than we do about the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep, which is around 7 miles or 11 kilometers deep, is the deepest part of the trench. By comparison, Mount Everest's peak would still be more than a mile underwater if dumped into this section of the Mariana Trench. As you'd imagine in this cold, dark world, there are animals which doesn't exist elsewhere on the planet. With these specialized adaptations and features that seem straight out of a sci-fi movie. One perfect example is, Dumbo Octopus, named after the Disney character, has flappy ears, deep-set eyes, and eight tiny tentacles. It can be found at a depth of 9,800 meters. Hardly spooky, these adorable 8 to 12 inch creatures stream through the ocean by flapping their ears. Charming as they may be, the Dumbo octopus is a predator that can swallow its prey in one gulp. Comb jellies are gelatinous animals with luminous body structures that deflect any light that falls upon them, making them visually attractive. They move around in the water using their comb like plates. While they are beautiful to look at, these undersea beauties are ferocious predators who have been known to harm their own kind. Some are as small as a few millimeters long, while others can grow to be about 5 feet long. While we know most jellyfish to be transparent, the benthocodon is in fact an opaque creature. A red-colored cover called the bell, veils the illumination of the creatures keeping it out of a predator's sight. It floats through the ocean with around 1,500 tentacles. The deep water hatchet fish is a little species with a sour appearance, ranging in size from 2.8 centimeters to 12 centimeters. The hatchet fish has evolved an innovative camouflage technique, like most other deep water species, can produce light from their stomachs, making them bioluminescent. Because revealing your form in the ocean might be harmful, the hatchet fish can adjust itself to match the light in the water, effectively making them invisible to predators. The translucent head of the barrel eye fish displays all of its contents, similar to a clear plastic bag. When it preys on jellyfish, this membrane also protects it from stings. Its flat fins let it to remain absolutely still and move with pinpoint accuracy. Despite its ability to lurk in the deepest parts of the water, this interesting species has been caught in fishing nets. Angler fish will be instantly recognizable to fans of Finding Nemo. In the film, he appears as a terrifying beast. This angler fish is notable for its light antenna-like muscle, sprouting from its head. This light draws its target into close proximity, making a quick catch possible. An interesting and potentially scarring fact is that they reproduce when the male fuses into the female and living off her resources until it can produce sperm. As if other sharks weren't frightening enough, here comes the frilled shark. The shark resembles an eel with its slender snake-like body. Apart from its build, this shark's most unusual characteristic is its set of 300 teeth. Even though it dwells at least 5,000 meters below the surface, it was one of the first deep-sea species discovered in the 19th century. As researchers continue to explore, more overwhelming discoveries will be made. Will you accept an invitation to the Mariana Trench if it is extended to you? Let us know in the comment section, and if you enjoyed the video, notify us by hitting the subscribe button. And as always, keep wondering.